This video is going to be hyper specific, but I just need to vent and maybe someone here might have some answers. The other day, Eric and I were driving around in Oric, Missouri, which is a small town outside of Kansas City, when I suggested we continue south out of town on the nearby Route Z. Side note for those who don't know, Missouri uses letters to label its farm to market roads. Anyways, we were heading out of town on Z, since I'd never been on Z before in real life, and I wanted to see where it went. Also, Google Street View does not have any imagery for the route. I looked at it before on Google Maps, but I saw that it just randomly ended at some gravel road, and I thought, surely this couldn't be right. Well, we ended up traveling down the length of the road, and it was far longer than it looked like on maps, but we got to the end of it, and it just stopped. Like, it just hit a random intersection with the gravel road, and then it just ends. It's so weird. What's even stranger to me is the fact that the road extends six miles outside of work and just leads nowhere. This seems like a huge waste of money for no reason. I mean, it's not unusual for supplemental roads to just end in Missouri, but when they do, it's usually in a small village of some kind, and if it isn't, then it's because it junctions another supplemental route. But never before have I seen something like this where the road just ends. It makes no sense. A possible solution to this is just to extend Z a few more miles to Camden, but they didn't do that either. Eric suggested that maybe the reason the road stops right there is because that's where the river used to be. And while I guess this makes some sense, this still doesn't answer why the road was built that far in the first place. Ugh, my brain hurts. Uh, postscript note here, I was looking around on Google Maps nearby, and I found that the nearby Route Inn also does something similar, so I'm starting to think that this might just be a problem in Ray County. Uh, bye.